Hello, I'm Anthony Hudson. Thanks for joining us for Saturday Afternoon Football. And with me is Melbourne great Gary Lyon. G'day, Hutto. Today should be a great match. For today's match, we have Melbourne and North Melbourne. Captains make their way to the center circle for the coin toss. North Melbourne kicking to the left of screen. The opening siren is moments away and you can feel the excitement building. And here's the bounce to begin the game. Guides it down. She has the ball. O'Day throws the ball away. Puts boot to ball. A big contested grab. Looks up with the kick. Finds a bit of room to mark. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. Drifts wide to go through for a behind. North Melbourne. Go for Melbourne. But one. Caught next to kick it in. Decides to play on. Puts it on the boot. King gives the body to take that mark. Going for goal number one. It's a poor kick, and it hits the behind post. Kicked it straight into the behind post. Cordner kicks it out of the defensive 50. Stabs at the kick. Oh, got up there in spectacular style. Strong mark. 45 metres out. She likes her chances from here. Chalk a goal up for North Melbourne. That's her first. She acknowledges the crowd. They draw first blood. We resume hostilities. One down. The ball in the hands of Fratton. They can create from this. Zanka takes the mark. Keeps it moving. Picked up now. Gillespie Jones brings it out of the pack. Riddle controlling the airwaves on this occasion. Gets it away. Has it now. Ends up with Cordner. They can link up now. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? There's some great skills on display right now. A great match. Smooth manages to get it onto the booth. Marking in space for Garner. Should be relatively straightforward from here. She heads for home. Narrowly misses there. North Melbourne lead by eight. Corden assessing the options. 
Evans Sparks. North Melbourne haven't been in control. They've given up way too many uncontested marks and are letting the opposition set the pace. A long driving kick. Smooth soccer's the kick. Down, he uses the bump. Caught napping and it's holding the ball. What a tackle! Constant pressure and rewarded. Garner takes a strong mark. This is kickable by her standards. Normally a good shot on goal. She can put it through. She was celebrating the moment it left her boot. Yes, Hutto. Garner celebrates with the fans. North Melbourne with the ascendancy over the Demons, leading 14 to nothing. North Melbourne have failed to get on top of the clearance, but it's how they can turn the ball over that is allowing them to score. A quick handball from Fresnan. Camp just threw it. They chase after the loose ball. Duffin gets the loose ball. Just got the hands in the back there. Moves the ball by foot. Scoops up the ball. Hacking it out of there. Scoops it up, Camp throws the ball away. Moved on by Gibson. Finds this one all by herself. Ashmore sends one up towards the wing. Just put it on the boot. Coughed up by Duffin. The ball spills to Jacobson. Gibson clears the congestion. Ashmore couldn't keep her hands on it. Going for goal number one. Hardiman doesn't take the mark. Teammates break for her. Plays on from the kick in. Elects to kick. Nice mark under pressure. North Melbourne are taking their time and kicking the smart options inside 50. And that's having a real bearing on this match. Good grab there from Ashmore. Looks to move it by foot. Doing well with the mark. Uses it by foot. King with the mark. Got boot to ball. Good mark. And looks to send it back. Pierce uses it by foot. Takes the mark all by herself. The mark is taken by Gibson. Slams it on the boot. Cleanly picked up. Sharon turns a free kick. She drives it towards goal. Sinks the slipper into it. Decides to keep it alive. Giving it off was Lynch. King gets the ball. Chose to kick it. Riddle marks uncontested. Decides to kick. Good mark there. Drives it long. Nice work for Lynch. The Rooms are gaining a lot of their advantage through some smart kicks and even better marking inside their forward 50. Ends up turning this ball over. Got the hands free. Doing well was Paxman. Rushes with the kick. A solid mark from Emerson. Converting these opportunities could make a big difference to today's result. The siren sounds and that's the end of the opening term. The scores, North Melbourne, 14 to Melbourne, 1. North Melbourne, grew up and about early, and I bet the coach would be happy with this lead at quarter time. Here's Gary to take a look at the key stats. North Melbourne have got on top in the marks. They've been able to control the ball in the air and it sees them in this position. Thank you, Gaz. Ready to go for the second turn. The game is back underway. Thump clear. And now Carney. Gathers it now. Practicing some fancy moves. 
and the mark will be paid. Now with a low spearing kick, open opportunity for Duffin. Great mark under pressure. Moves the ball by foot. Mops up the loose ball. King wins the foot race. Releases the handball. Gillespie Jones sends it clear of the contest. Can't take possession. Picking it up was Garner. Pumps the ball long. Trent with an easy mark. 40 metres from home. She drives it towards goal. She's put it through. Gets some reward for her efforts. That's three in a row for North Melbourne. Now they lead by 19. At full stride, receives the handball. Finding the loose ball was Pierce. Does well to cut off the kick. Heads long with that kick. King takes the mark. Puts boot to ball. An easy grab for Gillespie Jones. Doesn't waste any time. She can take off after that handball. Takes possession. O'Day kicks hurriedly. Through for a point. Looking to bring it back into play. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Brutton kicks it. Ball spills. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. O'Day going for number one. Umpire not fooled by that effort. Pays the free kick. Sinks the slipper into it. The mark has been taken. Ashmore goes with the kick. It's marked by Jacobson. 45 metres out. Going for goal number one. It somehow fits over the line, and it's a goal. Jacobson loves that goal. Melbourne close the gap to 12. Big thump from King. Kicks out of the congestion. Downey dropped what she should have taken. Downey throws the ball away. Moved on by Garner. Ashmore takes the mark uncontested. 50 metres out. Going for goal number one. Abitangelo didn't mark it. Kicks hurriedly. Paxman hangs on to that one. Paxman sends one up towards the wing. Looks to move it by foot. Takes a simple grab. Got boot to ball. Ends up marking uncontested. Chips it towards half forward. Intercepts the ball well. The rooms are getting plenty of marks with loose players. They're really able to control the game and move at their own pace. Bounce. Works for Grierson. Uses a short handle. High tackle. Bateman takes the pressure of the goal kick upon herself. 60 metres out. Looks like the ball will be coming back. North Melbourne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Penetrating handball. My ball, says the umpire. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. The loose ball scooped up. Collects the loose ball. King just threw it. Uses it now. Emerson got hands to it. Hurried kick. Gains some territory. Hanks just gets a boot to it. Intercepted by Lynch. Just gets it onto the boot. Paxman takes it well. Almost cut it off. And now they create a turnover. Releases by hand. Ends up turning this ball over. Duffin elects to kick. Humphrey does well to mark. North Melbourne have managed to rack up a big number of marks, and it's easy to see why they're leading this match. Landed in her back on this occasion. The kick from Downey, and the mark will be paid. North Melbourne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Good mark, and looks to send it back. 
the ball kept alive and the ball ends up over the line umpire tosses it in dug out by Gashmore keeps it alive under some pressure the umpire calls for the ball now Swatson under pressure and keeps it alive the umpire calls for a stoppage winning it was Zanka King on the ball Bateman uses it by foot Smith kicks it Downey goes off the ground the siren sounds and that's the end of the term the scores North Melbourne 22 Melbourne 8 North Melbourne have had a solid first half and will look to show more of the same in the second what can you tell us from the stats Gaz Melbourne are giving up too often on possession. They need to lower their eyes and hit a target when going forward. Thanks, Gaz. Both sides taking a much-needed rest at the long break. The second half just moments away. We're set to go at the start of the third quarter. King thrashes it, laying a strong tackle. Great tackling technique. Movement by hand. The drop punt goes straight between the big sticks. Garner love kicking that one. The Ruse with a three-goal lead. About to resume play. King thumps it forward. O'Day collected the ball well. Garner moves it now. Tran collects the loose ball. Now we've got a ball up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really entertaining game of football. King goes off the ground. Garner decides to go for home. North Melbourne, 27, Lake Melbourne, 8. Ready to bring it back into play. Plays on to herself. Cordner puts it on the boot. Mithin found some space and marked. Decides to kick. A strong pack mark. Cordner kicks it to the square. The mark has been taken. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. North Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Cordner won herself for free. North Melbourne are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Downey drives the kick. A good mark under the circumstances. Duffin kicks it out of bounds on the full. Looks up with the kick. Off hands from King. Fends off the tackler. Trent on the end of the turnover. Slams it home. She'll be happy with goal number two. They get around there after that effort. North Melbourne have kicked back-to-back -back goals. The lead is now 25. King got a fist to it. Zanka off the deck. Camp on top of the ranking points. The opposition need to get a hold of her. Marks now and can send it back. North Melbourne just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside field. A chance to reload the attack now. Winds up and goes long. Flew high, but didn't hold on. Randall just gets it out of the boot. Gibson doesn't take the mark. Hands that ball to the opposition. Puts on a big hit. Manufactures the handball. King just threw it. With a driving kick. Trent 
now heading off to the bench for a break. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'd really love it if these teams took the contest to the next level. Gathers it now. A bit too hard with a push. And it's a free kick. King goes with the kick. Gets into a good position to take that. North Melbourne are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. Up for grabs for Gibson. Slams it onto the boot. Scott enjoying that goal. Back in the middle now. Punches it clear. King onto the ball. Doing well to intercept that kick. Kick by Paxman. Where it uses the body well. Works it across the ground. Good body work to win the mark. The rooms haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Scoops up the ball, gets the handball away. At full stride, receives the handball. Camp couldn't snap it. King dug out the loose ball. The possession caused a turnover. Does well to keep it in play. Puts it on the boot. Takes it well. Just gets a hand in. Shows some physicality. Garner steals possession. Missed the target. Bannister throws the ball away. Goes by foot. Scott marks in a bit of space. Goes by hand. Cordner. The little one too. Hits the post, and it's a behind. North Melbourne by 20 points. North Melbourne could costing themselves with turnover today. They need to find a way to control the play better and stop turning it over. A great mark taken there. Chose to kick it. Downey gets in a good position. Downey kicks it to the square. Lampard with the mark. Goes with the kick. Bratton wins the ball in the air. Decides to go to the middle. Takes the mark. Interesting handball. Receives the handball and takes off. Ashmore with the intercept. Stuck the mitts out there and held onto it. Gibson has resources out wide. Winning the ball in the air was King. Elects to kick. Melbourne trailed by 20. They certainly have a lot to think about before the final term. North Melbourne fans will be hoping they can hold on and get a memorable victory today. Let's see what the stats have to show. Melbourne giving themselves a chance on the turnover, but they can't seem to be putting it on the scoreboard. Thanks for that. One quarter of footy to go. Can't afford any mistakes from here. They have to be perfect. Miffin just put it on the boot. Lampard controls this one. Strong mark in the context. Keeps the kick low. Spent that one before she earned it. Using every ounce of energy she has left. There'll be a ball up in the centre square. What do you make of the game so far, Gary? I'd love for the coach to send a message out there and tell these players to take the game on. She loved that one. Melbourne, close the gap to 14. Back in the middle to resume play now. Thrashes it. Quickly onto the boot. Hacking it out of there. Uses it by foot. Gillespie Jones just gets a boot to it. Great tackling there, Hutto. Collected by Humphreys. Handballs. She can put it through. She puts it out of bounds on the full. Pierce kicks the ball deep. A strong mark in the pack from King.
tries to gain some territory. Looks like it's going to be paid deliberate. Mithit running off for a break. A low stabbing kick. Does well to cut off the kick. North Melbourne have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. The kick goes out on the full from Griddle. Slams it on the boot. Taking a nice grab. It's a long kick. Scott found some space and marked. Moves it by foot. Ends up turning this ball over. Gets a touch to the ball. Gathered by Guerin. Well collected. Pierce was surrounded. She needed to mark that. And she did. Outstanding pressure. Decides to soccer it. Just put it on the boot. Goes for territory. Picked up by Gillespie Jones. With quick hands. She's got the football now. Strong with the body and wins the mark. They can create from this. The umpire will ball it up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? It's a really good contest out there right now, and it's great to watch. Kent looks in need of a spell. Hardiman gets on the end of this. Elects to kick. Good mark by Garner. Has a runner alongside her. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Smith uses it by foot. Mark in space was Warren. Goes with the kick. Sharon presents and takes the mark. A spearing kick. Found a way to keep it alive. Couldn't complete the play. Ball out of bounds. Ball back into play. Gillespie Jones hurls it away. A chance for Cordner. Holding the ball! Gay creates a contest. Great attack on the ball carrier. Easily takes the mark. Grierson kicks it to the square. Marks now and can send it back. North Melbourne haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Constant pressure and rewarded. Finds the loose ball. Needs a bit of a rest. Abitangelo gets a quick kick away. Finding the loose ball was Emerson. The ball finds Warren. Keeps the kick low. An easy grab for Scott. Looks to move it by foot. Hanks marks. Well, when you look at the shots at goal, there just hasn't been enough scoring opportunities being created. Get the ball inside 50 and give your forwards a chance to take a mark. North Melbourne forwards are dangerous anywhere inside 50. They just need to be given a shot. Opportunity for Guerin. Hits the target by hand. That tackle just too high. Uses it by foot. Zanka heads to the bench for a break. And now, we'll have a ball up. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Downey goes off the ground. She has the ball. Smith there to mop up. That kick goes out on the full. Lobs the handball. Hits the target by hand. Randall dug it out, just puts it out in front. Lynch dismisses her opponent with disdain. Umpire pays the free for a deliberate. Gets some distance on the kick. Got hands to it, runs it over the boundary line. Ball back into play. Fumbles the ball, well taken at ground level. Well picked up. King quickly onto the boot. Grierson gets on the end of this. Use the hands and gives away the free. Lining up for goal. Hold on to the ball for a few moments and just take the sting out of the game. Grierson fires it up to the square. The mark is taken by Smith. Melbourne will be having a hard look at the game when the review comes later in the week. North Melbourne just had a more disciplined performance. They worked harder and they get to reap the rewards of that effort. 
Final scores at 5, 4, 34, to 3, 2, 20. That's all the time we have for today. It's been a great day of football and we'll see you again soon. So join in the chorus and sing it one and all.